Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you guys and I'm hoping it's not going to be too long, but I got a good amount of stuff that's been accumulating for a haul video. So I'm going to jump right into it. All right, so the first little thing that I got was from The Body Shop, and The Body Shop is my favorite place to get like lotions and stuff like that. Their hand creams and their body butters are my favorite things ever. And I went to get some of their hand creams, and I got the Satsuma and Mango. I think that's how you pronounce this one. I honestly don't know, but it smells like oranges. And this one obviously smells like mangoes. I normally get them at Ulta, but I didn't see any the last time I went to Ulta. So when I was in there the other day, I picked two of them up. And these are my favorite things ever. I throw them in my purse. I have one in my backpack. Like, I keep one in my car. I just keep them all over the place because they're so moisturizing. And I just love the smell of them. They're amazing. So I 10 out of 10 would recommend these if you're looking for a really good hand cream. Because they're great and they smell awesome. Alright, next I have two little things from Forever 20. 21 and somehow they both ended up being bodysuits. Um, I've been really into bodysuits, like that whole trend lately, and I originally wasn't going to get anything from Forever 21 when I went, but then these two bodysuits stood out to me, so I picked them up. Hold on, I gotta situate it. It's a little messed up. Alright, so this first one I actually saw online. It's like green and black. It almost has like a camo vibe to it, but they also had this in like a burnt orange kind of color, but I thought the green one looked better on me, and I actually wore this out last night, so the tags are off of it already, and it fit really well and the material is like stretchy so it's not too tight because sometimes I have a problem with bodysuits and they're way too tight because they can't stretch vertically um, but this one fit really well and I really liked it on so there's that all right now this one I haven't worn yet but it is a black mesh bodysuit so if you could see that it is totally see-through the entire thing um, but I've seen a lot of people wearing long sleeve mesh bodysuits and I love the look of these with like a really cute black bra or bandeau underneath it. I just think it looks really cute. I love that style and I've been looking for one that is in tank top form rather than long sleeves because it is transitioning into summer here finally um, and I finally found one just like on a random rack and it happened to be in my size so I grabbed it and you know ran to the checkout line but that is the only other thing that I got from Forever 21. Alright so the next little thing is a pair of sunglasses. Why can't I say sunglasses? Sunglasses. Yeah, Nikki, that's how it's pronounced. So the next little thing I got is a pair of sunglasses, and these are from Posh Colt, which is an online clothing website. Um, I actually first saw these sunglasses on Ashley Wagner, who is another YouTuber. Um, she did a lookbook, and these were one of the first pairs of sunglasses she had on in that video. Um, I have worn them once already. If I could untie this, then maybe I could show them to you guys. Um, I thought they were really, really cute on her. I'm still iffy on how they look on me, but I still think they're really cute. So this is what they look like. So they are gold. They have a rose gold tint to the lenses, and they have this other piece that comes off the sides of the lenses and I liked that piece the most from these pair of sunglasses. Um, to be completely honest, these were very, very, very inexpensive. These were only $15, so I didn't have very high hopes for them. I just kind of bought them anyways because I thought they were really cute. Um, you could definitely tell like holding them and feeling the product that they are more on the cheap side. However, I still think that they are really cool and really cute. I don't know if I'll ever order again from the website, but we'll see. All right, I also got another pair of sunglasses, and these are from a shop in North Haven, Connecticut. I honestly 
don't remember the name of the store because it's one of those stores that closes and reopens with a new name like every few years so i really i just don't even remember what the name of the store is now but i got these there they're another just really cheap pair of sunglasses but i liked the style of them and i liked the look of them and so i just decided to get them i think they were like eight bucks like really 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 cheap they feel really cheap, you know, nothing like Ray-Bans quality. Like I have other Ray-Bans that I wear all the time. These are just like what I'm styling outfits kind of sunglasses. Um, but I still picked them up because I thought they were pretty cute. And again, these have a rose gold frame and they have this like taupe, almost rosy color over the top of the lenses. And the lenses aren't really mirrored at all. They're just kind of a rose gold brown color. All right, and next we have Ulta. So excited for this stuff. Um, I kind of splurged a little bit when I went in there, but it's all right. <laughs> so first things first, I decided to get the Benefit, oops, I almost just threw it across the room, um, but the Benefit Chic Parade palette, and I'm very excited for this. So pretty. I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. So I'm just going to open it up. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. It comes with two bronzers and three of the blushes. So it comes with Hula, Hula Light, um, Dandelion California and Rockateur and I've heard that California is a really 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 pretty blush I haven't used any of them yet because I haven't done up my makeup where I would need bronzer and blush yet but I'm very excited to test them out um, I already have the Hoola bronzer but oh well I have a second one now so that's cool um, but I'm very excited to use this palette. Okay, so next thing I got was a Vice product by Urban Decay. And this is the Long Lasting Water Resistant Lip Top Coat. Long title. But these are the Special Effects Top Coats. And they are so pretty. I tested, I think, all of them out. But the only one that they had in the store that I wanted to purchase was the one called Litter. And this is a white glitter lip top coat. So like I said, this one is called Litter. It is a white glitter lip top coat. And it just looks super, super, super gorgeous. And I even swatched it for you guys over a darker lipstick so that you could see what it looks like. I definitely think I'm going to get one or two more of these because I just think they are so pretty to put over other, especially darker lip colors. I think the results are just gorgeous. So I'm very excited to play around with this. And the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks and liquid lipsticks are some of my favorites. Um, they saw, I'm sorry Urban Decay, but you still don't beat Kat Von D in my heart. Kat Von D is my favorite liquid lipstick ever, but your Vice lipsticks are a very, very close second. So I'm very happy to see that you guys came out with these special effects glosses because these are honestly so awesome. Next, I have a brow pencil, and this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade number two. Um, my sister actually uses this brow pencil. I got it because I have some patches in my brows. It's really hard to see unless I like point them out, but they bother me. Um, there's just like little patches where the hair doesn't grow in completely for some reason, or like I'll just over time get random patches that like don't grow hair for a little bit and then the hair starts growing back but I don't know it's weird it bothers me so I think I'm gonna try and start filling in those parts of my brows with this and this is actually the one that, that my sister uses I think I said that already um, but I'm gonna see how it works out for me I have tested it out and it seems pretty nice so We'll see how that goes. All right, so these last two things aren't very fancy. Um, I just got 
the Ulta Beauty brand mini tweezer duo just because I needed a new set of tweezers but I honestly don't really like these I tested them out um, I just think that the ends of the tweezers are too thick to grab like the tinier hairs like in your brows um, but I'm still gonna use them they're just tweezers I can use them for whatever um, but I also got a travel pack of the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towels because these are the makeup remover wipes that I use and I just wanted one that I could throw into my backpack in case I like you wear lipstick to school or something and I want to take it off throughout the day. I just wanted a little pack of them to throw in my bag. Alright, so that is everything that I got from Ulta, but I also went to DSW and got four pairs of shoes, so I'm going to show you those right now. So the first pair of shoes that I got are the Adidas Neo, and these are in the gray color. I don't know the exact name of the color, but they are gray. Um, so this is what they look like. And I thought they were really cute. I was actually debating between this color and like the light baby pink color. Um, still, again, not sure what the actual name of the color is, but it was pink. Um, I have the Adidas Superstars, and I just saw these. They're very, very similar, the style of them, but I just thought these were really cute and kind of more casual. Um, so I got those and I love this gray color and they are also suede so the only bad thing about these shoes is that I wouldn't wear them out in the rain or anything because I wouldn't want to mess up the suede and they might be a lot harder to clean than normal shoes are but I still think they're cute so I got them anyways all right so the second pair I got was from a guess now I've been looking for a pair of lace up shoes for a while I wanted to find ones that actually like flattered me and I think I finally did um, these are gonna be a little hard to see like the actual shoe so I'm gonna insert a little clip of me wearing them right here but they are not very tall they have a cork wedge and these are the tan color and they are also suede so they have these straps around the front of your foot and then they have the two very long straps that wrap up your leg but yeah i think these are super cute they came in a few different colors i think they had the tan black and then they also had a red color and i took a very long time deciding which color i wanted i was going between mainly this tan and the black um, but I figured since they're more summery shoes, I should just get them in tan because they would go with more of my wardrobe. Next, we have a pair of heels from mix number six. And these, it says the color of them is green, but it's more of like a minty, like turquoise. And I'm really into weird shoes. I feel like I've said that on this channel before. I don't know if I have, but I'm into really strange, like, weirdly patterned or weird, weirdly colored shoes. I don't know why. Um, so I found these. <laughs> it's funny because when I tried these on, my mom was like, really? <laughs> She's like, really green shoes? But I think these are so awesome and they are bright and like neon and crazy and I love them. And normally I don't go for the pointy toed shoe, but for some reason, I actually really like these on me and clearly I couldn't pass up the color so <laughs> had to pick those up I can't wait to wear these I actually almost wore them on Easter but I had to do a little outfit change because it was really hot out and I decided against wearing these with my jeans and I put on a romper instead but I really can't wait to wear these because I think they're so cute and actually there were two other women at the store when I was buying these and they saw me wearing them and they were like I need those and all three of us bought these shoes at the checkout <laughs> so I think these are really cute I can't wait to wear them and I love the color and the last thing I got was a pair of wedges from Chinese laundry and this box is huge but I love Chinese laundry. I think their shoes are really cute. So uh, this is what these wedges look like. Oh, they're so gorgeous. My sister actually got these exact shoes, but in tan and I got them in black. So they're wedges and then they lace up the front and have like a little tie right here. Um, I just think they are really cute. You could dress them up or you could dress them down and I think they look nice either way. I have not gotten to wear these yet, but I'm very excited to wear them.
Last but not least, I went into Journeys when I was at the mall with one of my friends and I bought yet another pair of shoes. Um, these I've had longer than the rest of the shoes that I bought because I bought these a while ago. Um, but I got a pair of Vans and they're a little dirty because I've worn them like five or six times already. But I got the Skate High sneakers in true white. And I love these so much. I was debating between getting high top Converse or these, and I went with these because I already have white and black low, like low top, like normal Converse. Um, but I didn't have any Vans, and I just really like the style of these. And my sister got them, and I saw them on her, and I was like, ooh, I really like these. Um, so yeah, I went and got those. The only bad thing about these is they get dirty because they're white. Um, I have a little spot on this one. I don't think you could see it in the camera. You might be able to, but I don't know. Um, and I'm really sad because like mud kicked up onto my shoe. But other than that, I've managed to keep them relatively clean. So we'll see how that goes. I was also looking into getting the black um, low top versions of these, but I haven't decided if I'm going to yet or not. We shall see in the future. I think I need to stop buying shoes for the moment. Um, but I can't help it, I have a shoe problem. Uh, you should see my closet. And honestly, I've been thinking about doing a shoe collection video or a heel collection video because I have more than the average human needs. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that video because I've been thinking about making a shoe collection. So let me know if you're interested in that. All right guys, so that is the end of this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will link as many of the products that I can find in the description below for you all. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from this channel. Leave me a comment down below if you feel like it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!